All right, guys, welcome back. So I tweaked the sky a little bit, made a little more orange. I played around essentially, and it's giving me a nice little orange beam, maybe an eveningish feel. Now, in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a mirror material. Now, you know, in the last episode, we learned how to do reflection captures, right? And I've deleted the reflection capture from this one. I just there was a reflection capture here that I just removed because we're going to use a different type of reflection capture called the planar reflection capture. But before that, let's actually build a mirror. So I'm going to take this here, a cube, right? Move this up. Press the end key. Scale this a little bit. Yeah, just to yeah, this looks like a decent mirror. Right, so now what I'm going to do is I've already made a mirror material and I'm just going to show you guys how to do that again. Um, I'm just going to delete all of this in fact. Right, so what you do is the three things that you need to make a mirror material. You need a white base color. So let's look at a three constant three constant three vector and let's just change this color to white. Okay, I'm going to drag this into base color. Then you need a scalar parameter. Let's just call this one. I just need a value of one, right? So let's make the default value one and put that in a metallic. Copy this again. Oops. Copy this again, paste it. And I need a value of zero for the, for the roughness. Of course, the name of the parameter is, is one that doesn't matter. You can call it anything, call it name or whatever you want. You can call this whatever you want, but I'm more interested in the values. You need a zero of roughness, which means you make it ultra shiny. You need to give it uh, a one metallic. Let me just make this metallic one. Right. We gave it different names. So now that, you know, they've got permission to change. Press the save. And as you can see, this is a basic mirror material. Base color or white, uh, one metallic, zero roughness, right? So I've given that. So now we have this nice little shiny mirror, but as you can see, your character is blurred in the mirror. And that's because, you know, it's difficult to make real mirrors in Unreal because it takes a lot of rendering power. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to make a mirror in Unreal using the planar reflection. So you've seen the planar reflection here. Now, one thing to do before you enable planar reflections or whether you, before you're able to use planar reflection is to go to edit, project settings, and just look for planar. And there'll be the setting called support global clip plane for planar reflections, right? This increases the, some triangle cost by 15%. So it makes your game a little more laggy. Remember, you can't make real mirrors without making your game a little more laggy. There's another way to make mirrors, but it's not, it just looks bad. This is a nice one. So just tick mark it. It'll ask you to restart your editor, restart it immediately, and you should be seeing the screen. So I'm gonna drag this planar reflection. It came in on the floor. Uh, I'm gonna just up the pre-filter roughness. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale it down. This is just too big, right? So 0 0.2, 0 0.21, and it's on the floor for some reason. So I'm gonna click here and I am going to you know, just kind of move it into place. So that's it. I mean, that should be about it. And if you go here, it's still blurry, which means it's on the wrong side. So let me just take this, this planar reflection. Sorry, where's the planar reflection? It's here, planar reflection. And let me reverse the side. Sometimes you can just, you can be in a situation where you have the wrong side of the reflection, right? You press play. And as you can see, it's a much more cleaner reflection. Now, if you want it to be perfectly accurate, you need to make some changes. So you need to click on the planar reflection. You need to go to, uh, you need to open the settings. So the settings will be closed. So open the advanced settings and the screen percentages, just change that to 100. So you want an accurate representation of what's on the screen, All right? So I'm gonna play this now. And as you can see, much, much more accurate. Right? And you can play with some of the other settings to make this truly an accurate reflection of the environment. One thing you need to know about planar reflections is that's actually computing the entire scene all over again. So you're, whenever you use this mirror, you are basically doubling um, the amount of computational power because you essentially are rendering the same scene twice. Right? So 
so yeah, be careful with that. Although for small scenes, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I use this quite actively in virtual reality, and it's not it's not really a big deal, right? But it does cost some amount of uh, budget. We we like to call it budget. Some some amount of graphic card resources. So that's it for this episode. You know how to make mirrors now, which is awesome. You have this nice little shine, which is awesome. Uh, more on the next episode. Bye bye.